Today, I would like to encourage you to leave a legacy. Be an example and determine the outcome of your generations beginning now. I would like to encourage you. I want you to remember that our Heavenly Father is such a rewarder. If you would determine in your heart to walk with Him, to remain faithful, to remain steadfast, to live in habitual fellowship with Him, okay, your life and your generation will be a testament to the chosen lifestyle of close communion with Him. This is so evident in the life of Enoch. The Bible says he begot Methuselah, then he walked with God 300 years. And when you look at the life of Methuselah, he is known to be the longest lived human being on earth. No one beats his record. That is not insignificant. I would like to attribute his longevity to the lifestyle of the person or his father in his life. There are seeds we sow and yet we do not know how wonderful the outcome will be. Could it be that you're walking with God who caused your family to stand out in ways that you cannot even imagine? It's possible. I believe the Father is such a rewarder because His Word tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 6c, I read from the New King James Version, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Consider walking with Him. Consider seeking Him and expect a reward because he has promised to reward those who diligently seek him. When we talk about legacy, we are not limited to inheritance specifically. We are talking about the people you leave back, because the people you leave are equally important as the things you leave. That's what we refer to as legacy in this context. The people from Enoch's generation were people of substance and they were characterized by different qualities. We talked about Methuselah. He's the longest, longest lived human on earth. The Bible tells us in Genesis 5, 27. So Methuselah lived 969 years and he died. No one beats the record. Then the Bible talks about Noah. Noah walked with God. These are outstanding qualities from a generation. What can you begin doing today that will determine a substantial outcome in your generation? I want you to think about it and I suggest to you this day that consider walking with God and you wouldn't regret it. Amen.